Do they have aunties? The ladies? They had an outing. They went to the uh, down line. They went to Manchester for a weekend. Are you good? Now, my suggestion is for the next outing is to go to the Imperial War Museum. That's really fascinating. <laughs> that, that would really you know, make the philosophy come alive. It's very fun. Imperial War Museum. See people fighting and dead bodies everywhere. Yeah. So that yeah, this point of the point is that the devotees we're on another platform other than this demigod worship. Uh, <coughs> most of the, the demigod worship as Krishna says, uh Antravat Jupala no no, uh how's it, how's it go? What's the next verse? Avyaktam Vyaktim Apana Manyante Mama Buddha Parambhava Majana to Mama Buddha Maheshwara. Avyaktam Vyaktam, they think the average Hindu in the street, and, and many people even come to our temple, what are they thinking? They're thinking that Avyaktam, the unmanifested, impersonal, everywhere, you know, whatever you want to call it, it <laughs> has somehow or other become manifested in a form. So it doesn't really matter, like, uh, Ram um, Krishna Paramahamsa, philosophy and music and other. There's no rich boy. And you worship the cowherd god, you can worship the monkey god, you can worship the, the elephant god. Uh, take your pick. It's all the same. You you know, you merge with God and become one with God, that's it. Lose, your, lose this perishing, rotten, Smelly personality, you give yourself so right. And you get mukti, freedom. Yeah. This is their idea. So they, they think that formers popped out the formless. Just like the scientists. They think somehow or this universe has popped out <laughs> as, the, as the unmanifested something or other, quantum vacuum. They call it a quantum vacuum. <laughs> quantum vacuum. Get your mind on that if you can. So they think that this is just a cosmic bubble pop popping out the quantum vacuum and then and it's existing for a little time and it pops back into the nothingness again. That's what they think. There's, uh, many Hindus also think like that. But they're, they're, of course, when they see Krishna playing the flute and the other it's so beautiful, then they have to admit, yes, Krishna's got something. Because he's not like you know, grotesque or fearful. He's very sweet. <coughs> Krishna has that sweetness. And we hear in the Bhagavatam, we're hearing about the very attractive features of Krishna, the, the, uh, his childhood pastimes. I mean, our rich Hindus are very sentimental. They love Krishna definitely, although they, they can't get there. They have been trained, educated properly. They've been miseducated by people like Ram Krishna, Vivekananda, and many other impersonalists who say it's all one, you can worship any god, Matapat, Tatapat, and in many ways, uh, is it Matapat? Yatamat, Tatapat. Yatamat? Tatapat. Yatamat, Tatapat, what does that mean? Whatever way you go, you can get the same place. Yes. Whatever way you go, you get the same place. Just like I buy a ticket for. Uh, uh, the bone mouth. I'll get to about <laughs> Sure, yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make sense, actually. Actually, Krishna says that, uh, what does he say? Uh, it's that famous verse. Those who worship the, the, the demigods. Yes. I the pandits here. Yeah. Yati Deva Brita Deva, Pitrin Yanti Brita Brita Brita, Bhutani Yanti Bhutavia, Madhyajino Yanti Ma. Yes. Those who worship the, de the demigods, go to the demigods. Those who worship the forefathers, uh, take birth amongst those beings. And those who worship ghosts and spirits, go to them. And those who worship me, come to me. 
It's not that a anyone who worships anything goes to that, to the same place. It's, it's not all, you know, lump them all in, philosophy. So that's why, you know, our temple is so important. And we're here in London, Radha London Ishwara. So Radha London Ishwara is also controller of, of the, any, to everyone in London. You know, with the demigod temples, this temple, that thing. But Radha London Ishwara is very special. I was probably one of you call it Radha London Ishwara. To establish that fact. But uh, Krishna is the supreme controller. Ishvara Parama Krishna Satchidana Vika Anandira Vikovinda Sarvakarna Karna Krishna is Ishvara Parama. Is it? There are many controls for Krishna's Parama, the Supreme Control. Krishna is Satchidana. His form is eternal, full of knowledge and bliss, not an ordinary body. Or else, how did, as a little child, did he pick up this uh, Vatsasura, twirl him round till his life left him, and throw him into a big tree? Just so that he could not, not get the fruits of the tree. His body is not only body. I mean, a calf is much bigger than, it's quite big compared to the little cowherd boy. I've seen that we have our calves. In fact, one time I went back to Nanda Manor, and there was a calf called Sudeshan. And I always remember this. I, thought, I, I went to playfully, playfully pat this calf, and they were grazing in a little forest. And, Next thing I knew, I was halfway up the tree. <laughs> and he butted me, and I went right up into the tree. Nobody told me this was a dangerous car. <laughs> and my chest was bruised for at least two weeks afterwards. Yeah, they're very, very strong. And here's Krishna just picking him up. <coughs> Whispering him around like a rattle, you know, throwing him into a tree. So Krishna sets you down to figure out. He has a form which is eternal, full of knowledge and bliss. Anadi Adi Govinda. Anadi is without beginning. And God is eternal, he has no beginning. Adi is the beginning of everything. Govinda. He's the uh, protector of the cows. Govinda. Uh, Sarvakarna Karna. And he's the cause of all causes. And the original causes is Krishna. So this Leela is very significant, very important. Verse and hearing Krishna, everyone knows this verse. Krishna Vana, no, not Krishna Vana. Chanma Kama Chane Divyam, Evam Yogeti Tatvata, Chakvadeyam Purnatama, Daiti Mahameti Sarvajana. One who knows about the transcendental nature of my birth and activities <coughs> does not have to again take birth in this material world, but attends to my supreme abode. O oh, Arjuna! Shri Prabhupada Ki Thank you. Uh, one minute for questions. <coughs>